So the Grade 1 Bobby Joe Chase is next one. Grade 2 Bobby Joe Chase. This is probably the closer we've got to a Gold Cup trial this week. Obsidian Shire at the top for Leon Van Rensburg. Magical Times, David Hooley. Acaster Malbis, Darren Thompson. Lawn Tennis, Graham Clutterbuck. Leaf River, Darren Thompson. Lord Decoy. Padre Gogan, Moral Fat Leon Van Rensburg, Wisdom Alex Cherry, Glass Judith, Anne Bronwyn, Killian David Robertson, Catherine the Great, Paul Rhodes, Dawn of the New Age, Joshua Sullivan, Finding Alice, Marty Leadham, Just Rosie, Craig Beckwith, and Tail for Stu Gray. So 15 of them then. They don't look like that many Gold Cup contenders in this, although this is the closest in distance to the Gold Cup next week. They're away and racing. Maybe one or two of them just keeping their pair of dry till next week or going in another race for a bit of a warm up. But anyway, it's the Darren Thompson pair that are taking us into the first and then all safely over the first of the 19 that they're going to take and A. Castor Malbis who could well be on the way to the Gold Cup is in the lead and getting into the second I'm talking that one a little bit slowly but over it okay Catherine the Great over it in the second and on the inside Leaf River third then the Grey Road right over on the far side is Lawn Tennis and Dawn of the New Age is also close up in the Sutherland black and red hoops as they all get over that ditch which was fence number three magical times in the purple jacket for David Hooley it's just the early back marker so we've got quite a few greys in this three of them I think the first one of them is Graham Clutterbuck's Lawn Tennis the second one is David Robertson's Ard Glass Judith down on this near side rail as they get over the fourth and there's a fall there Lawn Tennis one of the greys has gone so Lawn Tennis is out for Graham Clutterbuck who's not having a great day at the moment or well, the last few races isn't anyway with two fallers in the last race and now one in this one the final race finding Alice but they sorted themselves out they're racing down towards the fifth fence and Acaster Malbis has opened up a clear six length lead to Stablemate Leaf River in second Catherine the Great on the outside is third as they take this fifth and Leaf River was a bit slow there and Catherine the Great's now clear second Lord Decoy has moved through into third then comes just Rosie and Dawn of the New Age, our class Judith is also getting a little bit closer. Moral fact is next as they get over the sixth. And all safely over the sixth, finding Alice was slow and Bronwyn killing was untidy at the back. And Acaster Malbis is bowling along in the lead. A good five lengths clear of Catherine the Great for Paul Rhodes in second. Lord Decoy on the outside is third in the yellow and black of Patrick Hogan. Then comes just Rosie for Craig Beckwith as they take the seventh. And they're all over that one with the exception of Wisdom. So Wisdom's gone. Uh, Wisdom and Lawn Tennis are both out of the race as they get into the eighth. This time they are all safely over it. They can't pass the stand then. The complete circuit of the track to go. In this Bobby Joe Chase. And Acaster Malbis is clearing the lead by four or five to Arglass Judith has now moved through into second. Lord Decoy on the outside is third, just Rosie is four, and then Catherine the Great is five. Dawn of the New Age is six, and Moral Fact is seven. Leaf River is eight, Magical Times is nine, then Obsidian Shard and Tail, and Finding Alice, and finally Bronwyn Killing. Bronwyn Killing, no more than 15 lengths behind the leader. That leader is Acaster Malbis, and they get over the ninth. So they're all safely over the lead is down to a little more than two and a half now little decoy on the outside might be just second well, just rosy on the inside of that one and our class judith and catherine the great moral fact is creeping closer door of the new age is next leaf river keeps dropping back and then Running on again, a crashing fall there for Lord Decoy. So Lord Decoy becomes the latest one to depart the race. So three gone now. And Acaster Malbis continues to lead. But Moral Fat moves into second. And Dawn of the New Age's third. So the big guns are beginning to move to the four. It's Acaster Malbis over that one in the lead. From Dawn of the New Age in second. Moral Fact is third. Catherine the Great is four. Then comes Leaf River and our class Judith and Obsidian Shark. And then just Rosie. They seem to be the main ones. Although on the inside, Magical Times is trying to get a split. So to his finding Alice Bronwyn killing is towards the back and tail is now the back marker as they get over the 12th it's Acaster Malbis who's still three clear of Moral Fact in second and Dawn of the New Age in third both of those appear to be going well covering each other's run as they get to the 13th but Acaster Malbis is the one they've got to catch he's still three clear and appears to be going well in the lead from Moral Fact in second Dawn of the New Age is third then Catherine the Great and Leaf River is after that one just Rosie still there on the outside Hard Glass Judith isn't out of it yet either as they get to this ditch and Acaster Malbis took it well in the lead a fall there was Catherine the Great and just Rosie as well so two down at that one and 
Gray Custom Malvis is in the lead. Stable mate Leaf River moves into second. Dawn of the New Age is third. Iron Plus Judith on the inside is fourth. Moral Fat now starting to struggle. Coming around the outside is Obsidian Shard. Bronwyn killing good from the back as they get over to 15th. And suddenly it's Leaf River who comes through to challenge his stable mate A Custom Malvis. These two then, the Darren Thompson pair, disputing the lead, being chased by Dawn of the New Age, Obsidian, Shard, Hard Class, Jury, the Moral Fat, Bronwyn, Killing, trying to get into it, Magical Times isn't out of it yet, the back marker there, finding Alice's tail is tailed off, it's Leaf, Leaf River, Leaf River's gone on then, from Stablemate, Acast, and Halvis in second, then comes Hard Class, Jury, though the 16th they go, they all get over that one okay, and they race away now towards the final three fences, and it's Leaf River in the lead, Leaf River from Acast, and Halvis, Hard Class, Jury, on the inside, Dawn of the New Age on the outside then Bronwyn Killing still making ground over a third left they go, Leaf River landed in front, but Dawn of the New Age is in hot pursuit in second then on the outside comes Obsidian Shard, Bronwyn Killing is trying to get into it and Castor Malvis is beaten, Hard Glass Judith is still trying to run on but it's Leaf River Leaf River is five or six lengths clear, racing towards the final two fences doesn't look like stopping this leader Leaf River comes down towards the final two fences then with a lead of six lengths gets over it nicely, a little bit ponderous maybe. Obsidian Shard jumps in better in second and he's eating up the ground. Trying to run on again is A Custom Malvis. But it's Leaf River in front. Leaf River comes down towards the final fence in the Bobby Joe. Pops over it in the lead. Obsidian Shard makes a mistake and is gone. And Dawn of the New Age is now third. But it's Leaf River and stable mate A Custom Malvis is trying to close again. This is definitely going to be a 1-2 for Darren Thompson. And Leaf River is holding stable mate A Custom Malvis up towards the line. It's Leaf River that takes the Bobby Joe chase. A Custom Malvis is second. Dawn of the New Age and Bronwyn killing close for third in our glass Judith and finding Alice after that one and an action pack race fallers galore right up to the final fence they were still falling and Leaf River and Acaster Malbis are one two for Darren Thompson Tour of the New Age for Joshua Sutherland was third Bronwyn killing for David Robertson was fourth and he also took fifth with Ard Class Judith